Martin has a total of 19 nickels and dimes worth $1.65. How many of each type of coin does he have? Let's start this problem by setting up a chart. Down the left side, we'll have our different types of coins. In this case, nickels and dimes. Across the top, we'll have our formula, which we talked about in the previous example. Number of coins times the value of each coin equals their total value. Now let's fill out our chart. Per number of nickels and dimes, we know that Martin has a total of 19 nickels and dimes, but we don't know how many of each he has. In fact, that's what the problem's asking. So if we represent our number of nickels as x, we can call our number of dimes 19 minus x. The value of each nickel is 5 cents, and the value of each dime is 10 cents. Our total value, based on our formula, is going to come from the first column times the second column. So the total value of our nickels is x times 5, or 5x, and the total value of our dimes is 19 minus x times 10, or 10 parentheses 19 minus x. Our goal in this problem will be to find x, because x represents our number of nickels. And the problem asks, how many of each type of coin does he have? If we know the number of nickels, we can easily find the number of dimes, and we'll have our answer. But we need an equation in order to find x, and it's important to understand that the information in this equation will always come from the last column of your chart the total value column. So what do we know about the total value of our nickels and the total value of our dimes? Well, we know that the total value of all of our coins is $1.65. So if we add the total value of our nickels plus the total value of our dimes, that should equal $1.65. So down here, we're going to add another box and inside we're going to put 165. Notice I wrote $1.65 in terms of cents because our value of nickels and value of dimes is also written in terms of cents and we need to be consistent. So here's our equation. 5x plus 10 times 19 minus x equals 165. If we solve this, we get x equals 5. Going back up into our chart, remember that x represents our number of nickels. So Martin has 5 nickels. To get his number of dimes, we take 19 minus x, which is 19 minus 5, or 14 dimes. And that's our answer.